Hi guys, hail Mary meets her beats, Michelle Marie Tony. I'm at the soup kitchen today. Um and I wanted to um let you know a couple different things at the same time. No, I do not have the portable studio set up, so you will just have to bear with it. Okay. Um today is another day of the week and we are of course um at the soup kitchen is Wednesday. I got the keyboard and a few ancillary things are coming today. The Mac, the Emac did, I mean, the iMac did come yesterday. It did have Lion installed, however, it only came with a, mega, a gigabyte of RAM, which it was supposed to come with. So everything came as it was described. Um, but when I get a computer with an operating system on it, the first thing I do is I just blow it away. Why? Why do I blow away the operating system? Because, unfortunately, um, I don't know what the usernames and passwords were on the original accounts. So you can never be sure what you're going to be able to do with it. Um, I learned that the hard way when I got my um, first um, Macintosh, actually from my first PC, same thing, um, many, 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 many years ago. Uh, it came with Windows XP, and unfortunately enough, I did not know the administrative password. I didn't know how to do anything with it. So, I, of course, I was going to install Linux on it anyway, so I just, you know, blew away the Windows and installed Linux on it. Oh, so it was Windows 95, I'm sorry, not XP. Although I did run into a few XP experiences as well. That's not the point. Um, so I got um, the computer, the keyboard, and the Mighty Mouse is supposed to be here today. So we'll get that started right now. I'm using another old Mac keyboard and from the, uh, the performer line with the IME adapter to use the computer. Um, I don't think the Intel is any faster than the Emac, if you ask me. However, it does play... Um, 1080p videos without too much of a uh, hassle. Um, I played some of the raw stock footage on the camera that the Power Mac G5 was losing frames on and it played them pretty well. Um, that's a good thing. So yes, video playback is definitely faster and better and smoother and that's a good thing. Um, the, as I said, I tried to install a copy of Lion on it and of course it it really ached that there was only a gigabyte of RAM and would refuse not would not allow me to install it. So I installed Leopard on it. So which I already have on all the other machines. So I was able to compare apples to apples. The um, Emac G4 is a one gigahertz machine with one gigabyte of RAM. That's the closest equivalent. So let's compare Emac to the iMac Intel Core 2 Duo. The Intel Core 2 Duo takes a little bit less time to boot. However, um, I noticed that um, a little less time doesn't really answer all the facts. It's still, it's still Intel. It's still not quite the same thing as I'm used to. So yeah, you're going to get that kind of speed um, issue for actual working with programs. Uh, the iMac, Power Mac G5, of course, smokes this guy um, when it starts up. Once it's fired off, it's it smokes it. It's just quick. And then again, the Power Mac G5 is much closer to a Mac Pro than um, the first generation of Mac Pro than to the um, iMac, so you gotta compare it with a Mac Pro, which I don't have. Okay, I'm not gonna be, um, I'm deciding I'm not gonna invest in any more Intel Macs. Um, because I only bought this one originally so I could sync this iPhone. Well, since I don't have Snow Leopard installed on it, I can't sync it. <laughs> the same problem. It only has Leopard on it right now, and so I lace iTunes and gone on. It's the same as on my Power Mac G5, so I'm not getting anywhere here fast. However, the good news is because the firmware, the EFI firmware was updated by Apple um, to the newest for that machine, um, the good news is now it is all set for free, 
four gigabytes of RAM, which is going to be great because that's exactly what I ordered. Four gigabytes of RAM, um, and it will have um, installed the um, Lion. I didn't see the Xcode package for Lion, which kind of made me a little bit unhappy, <laughs> from what I can tell you. Um, so that's a fact. Now, last thing on the list of things that make me unhappy is I went to the doctor and I gained four pounds. Okay, fine. Well, I guess four pounds is better than gaining ten, but it still sucks, okay? Um, also, having a problem with my right ear, he looked at it and he says, It's full of hair. Hair? Yeah, your hair. And I'm like, how do I get hair in my ear? I know. He says, you're going to have to flush that bad boy out. Um, okay, with what? Um, hydrogen peroxide would be a good start. I said, yeah, i got to get some more anyway because i got to take care of my cat's ear. You see, he's got the opposite, he's got the opposite ear, but the same damn problem. Um, he gets full of crud, and I had to clean it out with hydrogen peroxide in a Q-tip. So, yeah, um, it's the same routine. Except, um, I'm not too happy about pouring hydrogen peroxide in my own ear. I've done it before. I had swimmer's ear as a kid. I'm not too enthusiastic to let them know that I said. Um, I had swimmer's ear as a kid. I said, I don't really want to pour, pour hydrogen peroxide in my ear because, um, I'm afraid that, you know, I could have any... He said, well, the good news is you don't have an ear infection. Yet. Oh. Okay. So, he said, you got to deal with the problem. Oh, I said, okay. My eyes are doing okay. Yeah, it's great. I'm happy. But, you know what? I'm going to tell you a secret I am not happy about. Is, oh, but I didn't find a solution for that. I didn't tell you about this. I mentioned just a little bit that the iPhone does a native recording resolution of... 1920 by 1080p, okay, um, on the, in the front, on the uh, rear camera, which obviously makes my Power Mac G5 sweat, okay, because he really has a hard time processing the video, especially if, you, if you're moving around a lot. If it's just a little bit of movement, it can still handle it, but if it's a lot of movement, it's kind of funny because I watched Frozen on that same machine, but that was set for 24 frames per second, and it played fine. Um, so, I need to do something different. So, I went and I looked for a program on the internet to set the front camera to whatever resolution I want. I found two. I found two programs. Um, they were both um, free. Um, the first one is a little more intuitive than the second one, but they do the same job, so. Um, the other one can also do um, really, really teeny screen sizes, but as the second one is just um, in case of converts to the standard 4x3 letter, um, picture. I think the second one actually kind of letter boxes it, which for some resolutions would kind of suck. Um, of course, we know that MPEG String Clip can also do it. Um, so, that's cool. I don't know what's not, but then what I mean, obviously, is for the video, is that uh, using the front camera, or the rear camera on my iPhone, you're going to see um, that the resolution is going to be kind of... Yeah. Okay, can't help that, guys. It's just, I have to... Remember that I used to do videos in standard definition anyway, so um, that's just the way it is. So, anyway, um, one other thing I did notice about the um, Intel Core 2 Duo machine, real quick, is it's extremely sensitive Wi Fi. It picked up pink fast all the way from my living room in my apartment with full signal strength. And that pink fast, in this case, would be almost 100 feet, over 100 feet away. So I was very impressed with the strength of the signal. Didn't expect that. Um, unfortunately, the connection speed is kind of 
lousy by that point, but oh well, can't have everything, right? Um, so I got some things I gotta do, I got some things coming in, we're gonna finish up setting up the uh, iMac to make it a little nicer. And yes, I can upgrade the processor if I want to, I might do it, but I don't know. I mean, uh, and 2.4 gigahertz, 4 megabyte egg cake. Um, second and processor is like uh, um, pretty pricey. Um, so I think right now with four gigabytes of RAM, it's gonna be good enough for you know people doing things like Facebook and YouTube and yes, Netflix plays. I can't say the same thing about Hula though. Hula won't play because it complains about the Flash player. It's not pathetic because the Power Mac T5 plays Hula Plus. Or it won't play Netflix. What is it? Though my computer. See, the one plays one or one doesn't play the other. <laughs> Only my iPhone 4S plays both. It's just my 3GS. This is so crazy. It doesn't make any sense. But yes, I got my iPhone 3GS back again. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. I'm going to use it. I'm going to use it. In fact, I can still use it for doing videos, obviously. So, yeah. By the way, the iPhone 4S is working pretty good. Um... I don't know if I want to try to downgrade it back to 6.1.6 .6 or just let it evolve with everything else Apple's doing. I, I'm not sure yet, so I can't tell you at this point. But I'm going to let you go, okay? So please do not forget to like or dislike. Share with your friends, your enemies, your frenemies, your fair weather friends, whatever. Subscribe if you have not done so. That shows me at least that you are interested to keep following my channel and my uh, travel to life. And, um, and yeah, I will try to get you a follow up on the iMac when I get everything set up for it. And I'm also going to go down and get some hydrogen peroxide today. I get some more calcium anyway. Um, and I'm going to try to clean that area out. Because it kind of sucks when it's uh, acting like this, you know? Alright, so I'll talk to you later. Bye bye.